Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are taking a look at the latest seasonal crafter material to be added to New Horizons and all of the corresponding DIY recipes now available to craft. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So we are slowly coming to the end of the autumn season as we approach the final couple of weeks of November. Thankfully though there's still a fair amount to look forward to including an all new update that we can expect to see a trailer for any day now. But first today marks the start of the end of autumn with the final full crafting material. Starting from the 16th of November the northern hemisphere will see all new maple leaves spawning around the New Horizons island for the first time. Now much like the cherry blossom season back in the spring, some of our trees have started to turn a wonderful red colour and we can now see some leaves falling from them and floating around our island, which makes it feel much more like autumn. Most of these fallen leaves will just float away, but if you look closely every now and then you should see a larger red maple leaf moving a bit slower than the others which you can catch with your net if you time it just right. Beware though if you walk too close to them or swing your net a couple of times and miss it will fade away and you'll have to find another one. The good news is there will be plenty floating around and unlike the mushrooms for example aren't limited to a certain amount per day. However these maple leaves are around for much less time than a typical seasonal material and can only be found for around 10 days and will disappear on the 26th of November as we begin to transition from autumn into the winter season. With that said we also need less of them than usual so it shouldn't be an issue finding as many as you need. Anyway as you know these new maple leaves are a crafter material and can be used to craft limited time maple leaf themed furniture items among some others that we'll get into just shortly. Of course just like most of the limited time recipes we have to find and learn them before we can craft them and just as you'd expect all the recipes can be found in the usual ways over the next few days. From now through to the 26th of November maple leaf DIY recipes can be found in the northern hemisphere in balloons, message bottles and from island residents. Just quickly for those of you new to the game or new to this channel the bloom presents float across our skies every 5 to 10 minutes each with a 15% chance that the present will contain a seasonal DIY recipe although this seems to vary slightly from player to player. Message bottles wash up on our beaches at least once every day and act in much the same way however you can find extra bonus bottles when you travel to mystery islands as well which helps increase your chances of finding those rarer seasonal recipes. And finally any villagers crafting away inside their houses can also offer up these recipes if you're lucky. Just remember you can find a maximum of 3 different villagers crafting each day which gives you 3 extra chances at getting these recipes. Of course how easy it is to come across these recipes depends on how developed your island is and how much you play as there's a slightly increased chance of receiving a recipe you don't have. So the more you play and the more you already know the more likely it is you'll get a seasonal one if that makes sense. Furthermore there's 3 lots of seasonal crafting materials available in the northern hemisphere right now including the acorns and pine cones, 5 different types of mushrooms and now maple leaves so it might take a little longer than usual to track some down. Anyway finding all of these recipes especially the last couple you're looking for often leads to getting a bunch of duplicates before completing the furniture series so a good tip is to keep a hold of any you have just in case you get the chance to trade with friends or others who may also have some duplicates of recipes that you're looking for. Now before we get into which items we can actually craft with these new maple leaves if you want to double check which recipes you already have simply open up the Nook phone and check the seasonal tab in the DIY recipes app as it lists all the seasonal recipes available this season that you've learned so far. It's pretty useful considering we're still able to find trees bounty and mushroom recipes until the end of the month. Anyway moving on we're going to be taking a look at pretty much all the maple leaf furniture items available over the next few days so maybe a bit spoilery for some players so just bear that in mind. So some of the maple leaf items include the autumn wall, the coloured leaves flooring, the leaf stool, the maple leaf pochette, the maple leaf pond stone, the maple leaf umbrella and finally the red leaf pile. So not as many items to craft as other seasonal series but definitely still worth collecting. Anyway maple leaves can actually be used to craft two other items from the previous trees bounty series including the trees bounty big tree and the trees bounty arch. 
The DIY recipes for both of these items also start spawning from today, so if you're wondering why you hadn't found them yet, that's why. So in total there's only 9 maple leaf DIY recipes to track down and you'll only need 51 maple leaves to craft one of each of these items, so it's a pretty relaxed limited time series compared to others. So yeah, that's pretty much all these seasonal furniture items that can be crafted over the next few days with maple leaves. It's worth mentioning that Isabel will gift you your first maple leaf recipe in a morning announcement when she announces the arrival of maple leaves. But don't worry if she doesn't do it straight away as sometimes it can take a few days depending on other events happening around your island such as villagers moving in and out and things like that. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. If you want a refresh on which trees bounty or mushroom recipes there are, be sure to check out my previous videos. I'll leave the links below. But what do you think about these maple leaves? Do you like the maple leaf items or are you already bored of the autumn season? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Of course, if you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any New Horizons news. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, as well as this channel's members. You guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you made it to the end of the video, please comment Maple just to let me know you did. That would be super awesome. And please be sure to include whether or not you're looking forward to winter or summer, depending on what hemisphere you're in. I'd love to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.